Hey guys, my name is Max and welcome to my movie channel. In today's video, we're going to be swapping out the front brakes on my 2010 Toyota Yaris. I just got this cool new toolbox. I'll be doing a little video on it. I still need to put some like liners and stuff in here, but so far I've thrown in a little bit of stuff. Also has a cool fluid sidecar. Pretty useful. Anyways, um, we got the pads. Oops. Got the lock. <laughs> Now we got the brake pads and the rotors right here. Let's get started. First step as usual, lock off the rear wheel. You don't want this thing to go anywhere. All right, so once you have both sides lifted up, the next step is to remove the wheels. Got the mill block and we need a 21 millimeter impact socket. This one. All right, so we got both tires off now. We gotta go back here and take off the caliper mounting bolts. One here. One down here. All right, so we are back with the half inch ratchet, 17 millimeter socket. Let's do it. So when bolts not coming off, gotta get some hits. And then there you go, smooth sailing. Perfect. Let's go on to the top. Perseverance. Give it those hits. And then you can actually move the uh, the uh, axle a little bit. If you just turn it like this, well, it's not going to turn this way, but I turned it a little bit with my hands and um, gives you a little extra space. So before we fully remove the caliper, got to grab one of these yellow hangers because you don't want to dangle the, the brake caliper off of this hose. This little hose right here could actually mess up the line. So I'm going to hang this on one of the coils on the shocks. Remove this and hang the caliper right off there. Alright, so oftentimes these rotors are not gonna just pop off. Um, so you can hit it with a hammer on this surface here in between the wheel studs. But since we're replacing the rotors, I guess we could hit it here. <laughs> we're putting new ones on. But I'm just gonna put the uh, 13 millimeter bolt in one of these holes. And uh, screwing it in will actually push the rotor off of the hub. I'm going to grab a screwdriver here so that this way it doesn't move. And hold the screwdriver while I ratchet it on. And I think it's loose now. Yeah. There you go. And there's the, the wheel hub, which we're gonna have to clean. But first, let's uh, make sure that our rotors are exactly the same. All right, so the rotors are exactly the same. See this uh, oily substance right here? We're gonna have to clean it because new rotors come with uh, anti-corrosion you know, uh, lubrication. So what we have to do is we have to take brake clean to it, get it all off before we put it on the car. Mm-hmm. That's it. We're good to go. Alright, so now we gotta clean this surface here where the rotor mounts on to break clean and I got a wire brush. Let's just clean it up. Alright guys, so this is actually a 
hell of a lot cleaner than it was now. Doing this is going to reduce any uh, vibration that you might have. Um, if you have a rusty hub surface and you throw a new rotor on there, you know, you're gonna, you might get some brake vibrations. Also, another thing later on that could cause brake, bri brake vibrations is if you over tighten the lug nuts, which is why I have a um, torque limiting stick, which will definitely help us out. Give it one more blast, one more thing. Be careful to avoid touching the surface of the rotor. Get you look just clean. Grab a lug nut and secure it there. All right. So while you have the uh, caliper bracket off, good idea to take off the old clips and then just clean the mounting surface. Look at all that brake dust. Get it nice and clean. Grab your new clips and start throwing these guys on there. Alright guys, next we're going to put the caliper bracket back on. We are hand threading first. And we're going to tighten it back up. Right, next, you gotta take off the slide pins. I already loosened this one. Just gotta get this one. Alright, so now you gotta push the piston back into the caliber. You can, if you want to, um, crack open the master cylinder. However, I'm not going to, because I don't want to risk the possibility of introducing air into the brake system. Alright, next up is to remove the slide pins. Make sure you're very gentle with it. Got one out. The one on the top. I'm just gonna lubricate them. Got some of this brake lubricants. Smooth it out a little bit. And you're just gonna work it back and forth in the boot. Alright, guys, so. Once it's in there, you just gotta, gotta work it like this a little bit. This actually feels a little tight, so I'm gonna add a little extra lubricant. Alright guys, so the last thing you wanna do is put on your wear indicators. This goes on the inboard pad. Alright, now you're ready to put on the pads. Let's do that. Alright guys, and here we are. Got the brand new pads right on there. Brand new rotor, looks really good and um, lubricated up those slide pins. Now all I gotta do is put the, the piston back on there, on the slide bolts, and uh, we'll be good. Safety glasses. I should have told you to put these on. I got some brake fluid in one of my eyes. Hopefully I'll be fine. Brake fluid. Anytime you're working around brakes or anything like that, safety glasses. Alright guys, so the next step and the final step is to put the wheels back on. Which means you need the right torque specification. This here is torque limiting extension kits from Astro Pneumatic. And I am going to use the 90 foot pound extension on the Milwaukee. Right, so with this on here, we'll know that it will be limited to 90 foot-pounds of torque. All right guys, so we got the wheels back on. Brake pads changed, uh, the guide pins lubricated, new rotors. Here's the old rotors, old pads, old clips, all that good stuff. Um, it's just all the tools I used. Oh, and the Milwaukee. But yeah, that's basically it. You just gotta slowly 
work from side to side. Always use eye protection. <laughs> I learned that the hard way today. Thank God. Um, I feel okay. But I had it break fluid go in my eye. So yeah, not fun. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.